The legendary king of Libya, Danaeus, was famous for his role in founding Argos, a prominent Mycenaean city in the Peloponnesus region of Greece. He and his fifty daughters were forced to flee Egypt to escape the wrath of his brother, Egyptus, who intended to marry his nieces. After arriving on the shores of Argos, Danaeus and his daughters were welcomed with open arms by the local people. To show his gratitude, Danaeus offered the hand of each of his daughters to a different Argive man. However, he secretly instructed his daughters to kill their husbands on their wedding night to avoid their terrible fate at the hands of Egyptus and his sons. All of the daughters followed their father's orders, except for one, Hypermestra, who spared her husband's life. This act of mercy and love proved to be crucial in the ongoing conflict between patriarchy and matriarchy, and became a symbol of the triumph of the latter. The story of Danaeus and his daughters continued to have a lasting impact on ancient Greek culture and history, and was even referenced in Homer's Iliad. The terms Danans and Argives were commonly used to refer to the Greek forces that fought against the Trojans in the Trojan War, showcasing the importance of the myth and the city of Argos. Danaeus was a reluctant groom. His father had ordered him and his fifty brothers to marry their cousins, the Danaides. But Danaeus didn't want to follow his father's order, so he sought advice from Athena. With her guidance, he built the first ever ship and fled to Argos, a place where he had connections because of his descent from Io, a priestess of Hera. Once he and his fifty daughters arrived in Argos, they asked King Pelasgus for protection, which was granted by a vote of the Argives. This event was later portrayed in the suppliants by Aeschylus. It was noted that Argos had always been a place of freedom and self-government, with the authority of kings kept to a minimum. The most prominent feature of Argos during Pausanias' time was the sanctuary of Apollo Lycaeus. Visitors could see the throne of Danaeus and an eternal flame called the fire of Pharanius, which burned eternally. Io, Danaeus' ancestor, had also found refuge in Egypt after being transformed into a heifer and pursued by Hera. Danaeus' escape to Argos was a clever way to avoid his father's orders while also finding a safe place to live. The story of Danaeus and his daughters seeking refuge in Argos is a testament to the power of perseverance and the desire for freedom. The story of the fifty daughters of Danaeus is a tragic tale of love and obedience in Greek mythology. Egyptus and his fifty sons arrived to take the Danaides as their wives. Danaeus, fearing the pain of a battle, gave them to spare the Argives. However, he instructed his daughters to kill their husbands on their wedding night. Despite their fear, Forty-nine sisters followed through with their father's orders, burying the decapitated heads of their bridegrooms in Lerna. However, one sister, Hypermestra, refused to comply because her husband, Lincius, had honored her wish to remain a virgin. Danaeus was furious with his disobedient daughter and threw her into the Argive courts. Fortunately, Aphrodite intervened and saved her. Lincius and Hypermestra then began a dynasty of Argive kings. Interestingly, Amimone, known as the blameless Danaid, and or Bryce also spared their husbands. This tale serves as a reminder about blind obedience and the power of love to defy even the most treacherous of commands. It is essential to follow our moral compass and be mindful of the consequences of our actions. Egyptus was known as a powerful king and mythological figure, ruling over Egypt with an iron fist. He had fifty sons, whom he arranged marriages for with the fifty daughters of his brother, Danaeus. However, Danaeus refused to allow his daughters to marry Egyptus' sons and instead ordered them to flee to Greece. Egyptus was outraged by this and set out with his army to capture the fleeing daughters. But, they were protected by the gods and managed to escape to the city of Aru in Greece. Years passed, and Egyptus' sons died one by one, leaving him alone and powerless. He eventually died in Aru, and his tomb became a monument displayed in the temple of Serapis at Patrae. In an alternate version of the story, Lincius, one of the Danaides' suitors, killed Danaeus in retaliation for the deaths of his brothers. 
The remaining 49 Danaides participated in a competition to determine their future grooms. The potential suitors ran a footrace, and the order in which they finished determined which bride they could have. Two of the suitors, Archander and Archetiles, were the sons of Achaeus and married Skia and Automate, respectively. However, in later versions of the story, the Danaides were punished for their crimes. They were sent to Tartarus and forced to carry water in a jug to fill an endless bath, attempting to wash away their sins. But, the bath was designed to leak, and they could never fill it completely, condemned to their punishment in the underworld for eternity. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.